Hello my tech people, welcome back to Tech Talkies. Today we are going to create an access management project using RFID. It also displays the data over a web server so that you can check who has used the system and how much. It can also be used as an attendance system with some modification. Let's get started. We got this RFID kit. It has the module itself, then an RFID key tag and a card. Then two types of pins. I will be soldering these pins onto the module so that it can stand up right on a breadboard. We will be using a Node MCU or an ESP8266 to control this project so that we can create the web server and also it is easier to work with the RFID module, which is a 3.3 volt module. We will also need an LCD display with an I2C converter and some LEDs. Let's put the ESP8266 and the RFID module on a breadboard and start wiring things up. Connect the SDA to D4, SCK to D5, MOSI to D7, MISO to D6, and RST to D3. Connect VCC to 3.3 volt and be very careful as this module is very sensitive to voltage. Connect the LCD's SCL to D1 and SDA to D2. You can connect the VCC pin of the LCD to VIN. I am connecting the LEDs to D0 and D8 with 220 ohm resistors. Don't worry, I will leave a circuit diagram link in the description along with the code. Download the code and open it in Arduino IDE. Open the library manager and search for Liquid Crystal Space I2C. Then install this library. First, upload and run the card scanner program and get the IDs of the cards that you want to use. Scan each card, then copy the ID from the serial monitor. Then open the main project. All right. You cannot change any pins in the library as we are using almost all the pins of the ESP8266. Make sure to double check your display's I2C address and size here. Then add your own Wi-Fi name and password here. Then change these IDs to your card IDs. And we are ready to upload. Now let's test our project. Once you power it on, Wait till you see the IP address of your web server. Note this down so we can check it later. After that, we can start scanning cards. As you can see here, not all cards will be given access. Only the authorized cards will be given access. And every scan is logged onto the web server that we can check anytime. Open the IP address that we noted earlier on any device on the same network. I'm using my mobile. Here, we can see all the data about who has accessed how many times and how many unauthorized people have tried accessing. But all this data will be stored only till the device is powered on. Then it will be reset. With little modification to the code, this can also be used as an attendance system. And that is all folks. Like and subscribe for more Tech Talkies.